So today, we are going to be analyzing scatter plots. See, the whole point of a scatter plot is to determine if two variables are related in some way. And we call that relationship an association. Okay? There's basically three types of associations we look for in scatter plots. We look to see if there's a positive or negative association, if the association is strong or weak, and if it's linear or nonlinear. To determine if it's positive or negative, what you do is you look at the data and think, is the data increasing or decreasing as you move to the right? If it's increasing to the right, then it's a positive association. If it's decreasing to the right, it's a negative association. To determine if it's strong or weak, we ask ourselves, how closely does the data fit the pattern? If it really, really closely fits the pattern we see, then that's a strong association. But if it kind of follows the pattern, but it's fairly loose, then you could say it's a weak association. And then finally, for a linear nonlinear, we ask, does the data form a line? If it does, it's linear. Or does it form something else, some other shape? In that case, it would be nonlinear. All right, and the best way to see these three associations is to actually see some examples. So down below, I've got six examples that we can go through together. All right. So let's take a look at this first one. We've got a scatter plot here. Here's our data. And it always helps to kind of put an outline around the data so you can kind of see the basic shape of the data. And notice, it kind of follows this trend right here. See how it's kind of moving up and to the right? So we know our data is increasing, so we know it has a positive association. Now, is it strong or weak? Well, the data pretty tightly follows this pattern. It's not all spread out all over the place, so I'd say that's a fairly strong association. And then lastly, linear or nonlinear? Well, if I use a straight edge, you can kind of see this pattern follows this line. So, I mean, it's not exactly a line, but it's pretty close. So we can say that is a linear association. All right. Now, if you look at the next example, this data is nothing like the last one. Look at this. So it kind of kind of looks like this. Look, it look, looks like a rainbow. It goes up, then it goes down. And notice, because it goes up and then down, it's not positive. Well, it is positive for the first half, but then it's negative for the other half. I'm going to circle them both. <laughs> it's kind of both positive and negative, because it goes up first and then down. Strong or weak? Well, it pretty closely follows that pattern. So I'd say that's a pretty strong association. And then finally, linear or nonlinear? Well, pretty clearly you can see that it doesn't fall in line. Well, maybe half of it falls in this line and half of it falls in that line. It's pretty much closer to like a, like a U shape. So I would say that is definitely not a line, so it is nonlinear. All right, so let's go to the next one now. So on C, most of the data kind of falls in this group, although there is one outlier out there. All right, so that's kind of the basic pattern of it. Notice it's going down and to the right for the most part. So this is a negative association. Is it strong or weak? Well, it kind of follows this pattern, but it's kind of spread out. So I'm going to say this is weak. Although, you could make an argument if you had the right scale, maybe it could look closer. But, you know, compared to the other ones, this is pretty weak. And then finally, linear or nonlinear? Well, if I kind of draw a line through here, it's kind of a weak association, but you can kind of see it basically follows that line. It's a little spread out, but it basically follows it. So I'll say it's linear. All right. Now, let's go to the next one. So this one's interesting. If I outline the data, it kind of looks like that. See how it's kind of going down to the right, kind of like in the little arc? So we know it's going down, so it's a negative association. Now, is it strong or weak? Well, it pretty tightly follows that pattern. I mean, even tighter than this one even. So this is a pretty strong association because it's really close to that pattern. And then finally, linear or nonlinear? Well, if I use my straight edge, you can kind of see you can't really draw a line through this. I mean, you could draw a line through part of it, the other part. It, it's closer to, like I said before, kind of an arc going down. 
So I would say this is not linear because it isn't a straight line. It's kind of a curve. All right, this one right here. I'll outline my data again. And notice how by outlining it, it's just a lot easier to see the pattern. So it's kind of going up and to the right. So that's a positive association. It's not a super tight pattern. Not like this one. Definitely not like this one. It's kind of like this one. It's kind of loose. It's kind of spread out. So I'm going to say this is a weak association. And then finally, linear or nonlinear? Well, if I draw a line through here, you can kind of see, even though it's a weak association, it does follow that pattern of this line right here. So we will say that that is linear. All right, last one. Now this is an interesting one, because if I outline the data here, notice the data is kind of everywhere. All right. Now, when you see data like this, where it's just everywhere and there's no pattern to it, it doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, it doesn't even go up and down, it's just everywhere. In this case, there is no association. There's no relationship between the x and y variable here. If there was a relationship, it would form some kind of pattern, but this one has no pattern. So what we could say for this is that there is no association. Meaning, there's no relationship between the two variables that we're comparing. You could say it's weak because there's no pattern, but to say it's positive or negative, you can't really say that because there's no association going on. All right, so that's how you look at scatter plots and describe the associations. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.